And we begin tonight with a search for that woman accused of taking tens of thousands of dollars from a man she met in a grocery store parking lot. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Sarah Donchi. And for Dominique tonight, police say that woman told a series of lies that led to a man buying her more than $30,000 worth of merchandise. Now police want her behind bars. Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer tracking the story for us tonight. Bill. Bill and Sarah, this is the tragic story of a 29-year-old woman using all of her personality and her persuasion to essentially, police say, trick a 67-year-old Tombaugh man into spending more than $34,000 on her. We're talking about buying things like jewelry, expensive handbags, even furniture at places like Rooms to Go. Tonight, that woman, Susie Calabrese, has vanished, and Houston police are trying to track her down. When we went looking for 29-year-old Susie Calabrese, we found the home she was living in vacant and a padlock on the front door. Tonight, Calabrese is wanted by police for the crime of felony theft of an elderly person. For detectives say, taking a 67-year-old man, Charles Foster of Tomball, on a veritable shopping spree for jewelry, clothes, shoes, even furniture. All goods, police say she conned Foster into buying for her, totaling more than $34,000. At CVS, she convinced the man to buy her close to $5,000 in gift cards. At Palais Royal, she's accused of tricking him into buying close to $1,700 worth of children's clothing, children's shoes, and expensive handbags. At Victoria's Secret, police say she spent $977 of Foster's money on ladies' undergarments, perfume, and cosmetics. At Target, another $1,046 on various items. And at Jared, the gallery of jewelry, she spent more than $16,000 of Foster's hard-earned money on a Rolex watch, a necklace, and earrings, according to court documents. Now, we tried to reach out to Mr. Foster. We were unable to find him or talk with him today. Again, Susie Calabrese charged with felony theft. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.